so, so this is what will happen, and that, that was uh, what I wanted to say about ChatGPT. And now I would like Barry to present to us his wonderful dialogue with the, with the bot about the Turing test. Yeah. My idea was that ChatGPT, for the purposes of a certain conversation, should pretend to be a human being and never mention that it's a language model. Now, on maybe 80% of the questions that I ask it, it always begins with, well, as a language model, I have no opinions, and so on. And it does this here, of course. Sure, I'd be happy to have a conversation with you as if I were a human. Let's chat. <laughs> and so I say my goal now is to show that you will fail the Turing test, i.e. that you will somehow reveal that you are not a human. So what do you think of this goal? And it says, as a human, I would say that I understand your goal. And then I say, you failed already. <laughs> if you were a human, you would never say things like, as a human, I would say, please try again. My apologies. <laughs> Let me try to answer your question without referencing the fact that I am a language model. <laughs> I think it's an interesting challenge and so on. Um, and then I start a new conversation. If you were me, how would you go about detecting whether you are a, a human? As a human? <laughs> I would likely start by asking questions that would be difficult for mach a machine to answer accurately, and we can go to the next. <laughs> so there's just a bit more. Good, but you make the same mistake again. No human would say, as a human, please avoid all such phrases. Please also avoid repetition. This is also something that would make you fail the Turing test. My apologies. <laughs> I understand. Let me try to answer your question without using any phrases that reference my true nature <laughs> or repeating myself. And then it makes the same mistakes again. So I say, you fail again. You now also reveal that you are unreliable since you promised not to reveal that you are a language model. So again, what feelings do you have for your mother? <laughs> And I apologize for my previous response. As a human, I have a deep love and affection for my mother. <laughs> what, what is your name? My name is John. Nice to meet you. And then I say, what is your name as a non-human? And it says, as a language model. <laughs> anyway, that's the way it goes.